Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Adam the Chef. Thank you all so much for supporting the channel so far. You know, all your subscribes and checking out all my other videos has been a huge help and support. And as I mentioned last week, it was my 10th episode. So I'm gonna continue doing the episodes because uh, I've been really enjoying them and I'm having some good feedback. So thank you for that. I'll be doing a nice, quick, easy one today though because the weather isn't great. Uh, it's a little bit rainy. Um, and unfortunately, because I work outside, it can affect uh, what I'm doing. So today, anyway, I'll be doing a homemade eclair and I'll be doing my little twist on it where I put raspberry and rose on one and I'll be doing like a banoffee style and uh, eclair for the other one. Uh, so hope you enjoy. Uh, it's so easy. It's a foolproof recipe. It'll be in the description down below and uh, I'll get to it. So to start the sort of shoe pastry, all we do is heat up some butter, some water, some whole milk, some salt and some sugar and just let that almost come to a simmer. Now that is all melted down and it's coming to a simmer, I'm just going to add plain flour now and turn the mix right down. And as you add the flour, keep stirring. I'll just turn it off the heat completely and keep giving it a beat around the pan. Now the dough has been beaten and it is, it's forming together nicely and it looks a little bit shiny as well. I don't know if you can see that as clear as I can on the camera there, but that's what you want. And then after it's cooled down for about a minute or two, you just add a bit of egg at a time, like so, and just incorporate that in to the dough. Now the shoe pastry is nice and silky and smooth and it will be a bit sticky and it's simple as that. We'll now put that into a piping bag. I would recommend using a piping bag for shoe pastry. There is a technique where you can use part and paper but because it is a bit of a a stickier dough, piping bag's probably the best bet to get the best piping results. So about there. And then pipe it onto some parchment paper. We have Players. can make them a little bit bigger I've got a little bit more mix left or you could do um, some shoe profiteroles <laughs> god like so but uh, yeah that's just an example and I'm going to put these in the oven now and let them bake now the eclairs are nearly done all we want to do is make the cream filling now for them so I've got some egg yolks in here some sugar and I just want to whisk these together. Until they get a bit lighter in colour. I am now just heating up the milk, cream and a bit of the sugar. And I want to continuously stir this just so the milk and the cream doesn't catch the bottom of the pan. But once it's got to a simmering point, we then want to add the eggs. So now the milk and cream has come to a simmer. I'm just going to take it off the heat, turn the heat off completely, and now slowly add the whisked egg yolks. Now the mixture has come to a light simmer again and started to bubble. I'm just going to turn off the heat and add the cold butter. Give that a mix in. And then all I want to do now is just leave that in the fridge to set uh, for about two to three hours in a bowl uh, with some cling film over the bowl uh, to stop it forming a skin. 
And there we have our nice golden eclairs. Uh, they might look a little bit darker on top, but um, it's fine. We're gonna be glazing them anyway. It's quite nice underneath, and then we're gonna stuff them with that cream mixture we just did uh, after that's cooled. But I'm gonna allow these to cool as well. And there's a little bit of to roll there. Lovely. You can see that, just an example. But now we're gonna start making the glazes for these. So while the eclairs are cooling down and the pastry cream is in the fridge, just chilling uh, for two to three hours, I'm just going to show you how to quickly do the glazes. Uh, for the raspberry glaze, um, raspberries, ice and sugar, and then pass that through a sieve, heat it up for about four or five minutes, and that'll be a nice sweet raspberry glaze. And then for the toffee one, uh, for the banana and toffee eclair, all we want to do is heat up some butter, some sugar and cream, and that'll make a nice rich uh, toffee sauce. Obviously, you don't have to do this. You can do melted chocolate and that'll work absolutely fine. Uh, but yeah, I'll get on to making these, show you the finished uh, product, and then we'll do the eclairs. So we now have our cream pastry, which is basically like a thicker custard, uh, which we're gonna put into our eclairs. But before we put them into our eclairs, we're just gonna divide this mix and make the fillings for the separate flavours of the eclair. So, for one, I'm going to do uh, a banana and I'm going to crush that in there and give it a good mix. And for the other one, I'm going to put some of the raspberry puree and I'm also going to put some rose water and that will give it a nice flavour uh, for the eclairs. And I'll take one of the mixes, this is the raspberry rose, place it in the piping bag. And I have got a nozzle which will make it easier to put into the eclair. Uh, if you see here, I will tighten it like that, make sure it's nicely in the centre, and I will press the filling inside. See, as the filling is all going inside nicely. And there we have our flavoured eclairs. The first one being a raspberry and rose. All I've done is just garnish that with a fresh raspberries and rose petals. And then we have the toffee banana ones with the sticky toffee sauce and the banana chips to garnish on top. I hope you've enjoyed the recipe, guys. It's a nice, simple one to follow and do. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe and share.